If you have a work device and you want to have some personal items on it, or if you have a personal device and occasionally want to do some work on it, you have a choice what Apple ID each element of the device uses. Now, Apple doesn't let you currently have multiple user profiles on an iPhone or an iPad. However, I want to show you in this video where to find all the different sign-in areas on the iPad and phone. For this video, I'm using an iPad. So the first step is tap Settings. It's going to bring you into the main settings of the iPad. Now, on the left-hand side, the very first thing that you can go to is iCloud. Tapping iCloud will let you choose the account that you want to use. This is one place on the device where you can log in to a certain Apple ID. Now that Apple ID is going to choose which items you want to back up to iCloud itself. But tapping on the left hand side again, this time I'm going to tap on messages. This is all your iMessages. So every account that people send you via iMessage, which is Apple's special text messaging service that doesn't use standard text messaging rates. It simply uses your internet connection. But you can associate a particular Apple ID with iMessage. To do that, tap the Send and Receive section, and here's where you can log in to a particular Apple ID. You can also add as many email addresses as you have. You'll have to tap a button in your email to confirm that you are indeed the one that owns it. But once you do that, people can start sending you iMessages to that Apple ID. On the left-hand side again, now let's go into FaceTime. Again, here's where you can link it to a completely different Apple ID if you wanted to. Perhaps you have a business Apple ID that you wanted to use for apps and iMessage but yet you just wanted to keep in touch with your family while you were traveling and you had a special Apple ID for that, you could put that in here. Finally, on the left-hand side, tap iTunes and App Stores. Again, you can put in a completely separate Apple ID here. This is good for family members that download music and apps and want to put them on different iPads or devices. You could put in a family Apple ID that's used with one credit card to purchase apps and have those apps available on multiple devices. So those are all the items that you can go to on your device to put in different Apple IDs to keep them all separate. It's great if you have more than one or if you wanted to keep purchases separate from other aspects on that device.